I'm then going to go ahead and bind on another attribute function and we're going to change uh, in fact no we're not we're going to change the text of the dialog now what oh the div this is what this is going to do is place text in here so we've already uh, determined the title we now want to go ahead and place text inside of here so in uh, jQuery we use the text function so I'm just going to say um, settings were saved for example okay so now what's going to happen is uh, we've changed the title and the text within this div so now we've predefined um, what we want to display before we go ahead and display it so now at the end of this we can use the dialog widget and that will then uh, substitute in them variables and then show the um, show the dialog so now when we click save we have saved and settings were saved so we've now achieved a, a, a sort of like a, a global div that we can use for any dialog we want okay so now what we want to do is take a look at some of the settings we can apply to this dialog box uh, first of all it's important to note that our page is still active uh, so we can still click on specific things um, and we might not want to be able to do that so we're going to gradually go through and change this dialog uh, to as you saw it in the first part of the tutorial and I'll explain each option on the way so you'll know uh, what to do with them and how to change them and there are a variety of other options as well okay so inside of here we want to go ahead and start to change our settings inside our dialog definition just here so inside here we need some curly brackets the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set my own predefined button or customized button and that's going to be an OK button just here so let's go ahead and uh, the option buttons now this starts to look a bit tricky so I'm going to pull this down here in fact, no, let's keep that up there. I'm going to, uh, okay, so let, let me start again. The buttons option takes um, more parameters inside curly brackets. So now I can start to create a function inside of here uh, once I have predefined which button I want to be associated with which function. So I'm going to define a button, OK. And then using a colon, I'm going to define a function here and more curly brackets and I'm going to pull this down so now inside of here this is what's going to happen when this OK button we've given it the label OK is pressed so we've defined a button called OK and then the function associated with this OK button goes here what you can then do is you could go ahead and comma separate this here and create another button so for example uh, not OK you wouldn't have a button like that but then you could define another function and so on and then you could create more after that but obviously for now uh, we're just creating one button which is OK so I'm just going to test this and I'm going to say alert hello so now what's going to happen is we have this OK button that's appeared with our label when I click on it we have this dialog box saying hello so we know that it's working but what we want to happen is when we click OK we want this to close I know we already have the X button up here that we can press to close it off uh, but you might want to incorporate other buttons into this dialog uh, that don't just close it that might want to do something else uh, but for now inside of here instead of an alert dialog I'm just going to demonstrate what we can do with closing this so what we're going to do is the selector we're going to be using is this so we're referencing uh, the dialog itself and then I'm just going to say dot dialog close so what that's going to do is that's going to close off this dialog so let me just go ahead and refresh and click save um, now when we press OK this closes so we've uh, determined uh, that pressing OK is now going to close the dialog and there are a variety of other options you can supply within here uh, but obviously for now this OK button is just going to close okay so now what we want to do is we want to supply some more um, some more options so just after you can see this is highlighted in red here um, it's starting to look a bit messy uh, we're going to supply more options just here so the first uh, option I'm going to choose is close on escape now what close on escape does is it will actually close this dialog box if the user presses escape on their keyboard so at the moment we can close it either here we can close it either here here or you can have a variety of other buttons or I'm just, a, I'm just going to go ahead and press escape on my keyboard which I've just done and that has closed the dialog box so by defining this uh, option here close on escape set to true by default it's set to false uh, the user can press escape on their keyboard uh, and that dialog box will close 
So let's go ahead and define some more options. The first, uh, the other thing you'll notice with this is that it is draggable. We can drag it around the page, uh, which might be a, a bit of a pain. We might not want to drag uh, this around the page. If you had some perhaps content in here that you wanted the user to be able to move and work on more here, uh, you're more than welcome to have it draggable. Uh, but for now, I'm just creating a dialog box with a notification. Uh, so I want this to be not draggable or not to be draggable. So I'm just going to simply divide, define the draggable uh, option and I'm going to set this to false quite simply. And now when I refresh, I can't actually drag it around. It won't let me drag it. Trying to click won't work. The other problem we have is that this uh, dialogue is now resizable. I can resize it from the top. I can resize it from the uh, sides. Um, I can resize it using this, uh, keep, not keeping an aspect ratio. Now, there are a variety of options you can do if you would like the user to be able to resize a dialog box. You can set a minimum height and a minimum width. Uh, we looked at the jQuery interactions and the draggable interaction, sorry, the resizable interaction uh, in jQuery UI, uh, which, allowed, which allowed us to set a minimum width and a minimum height that a particular element can be resized to. In this case, we don't really want the user to be resizing this dialog box around. Uh, we can set it, we can either set or keep it at a specific um, size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to UI.js and I'm going to supply resizable false. So I'm changing resizable, the ability to resize it, to false. So now when I refresh, the first thing you'll notice is this little resize icon has gone uh, and now we can't move it and we can't resize it. So it's just a uh, static uh, dialog box in the middle of the page. And um, we can go ahead and close that now. 